With no TV or home entertainment, the piers and promenades of the 19th and early 20th century were heaving with amusements and novelties. And none were more novel than this next performer. He had a very unusual way of smoking his ten a day. We all know smoking is bad for your health, but when it's done in an unconventional manner, I can only imagine it's intensified tenfold. In today's episode of Unusual as Usual, we're looking into the eye-watering career of the eye smoker, aka Alfred Langvin. <laughs> Alfred Langvin was born in Canada in 1885. At first appearance, he looked like a normal person, just like you or I. However, he actually had a very unusual talent. Langvin had two fully functioning eyes and one unique ability. Due to an abnormality in the development of his tear gland, he was actually able to smoke a cigarette through his eyes. He achieved this with the use of a regular household off-the-shelf smoking pipe, which allowed him to breathe, if you will, smoke from the pipe through his eye socket and exhale it out of his mouth. Equally, he could also inhale smoke through his mouth and blow it out of his eyes. At some point during the early 1930s, Langvin moved from Canada to the United States, where he set up residence in Detroit, Michigan. Here, he honed his unique talent and added several variations to his repertoire, including playing popular tunes on a recorder and blowing up a balloon, you guessed it, all done from just his eyes. He soon caught the attention of Robert Ripley, who in 1933 employed him to perform at his auditorium. Ripley billed Langvin as the man who smokes through his eyes, usually just shortened to the eye smoker. Langvin's act, being one you really had to see to believe, drew huge crowds. He would delight and entertain by playing his recorder and even, on occasion, taking requests for songs from the audience. But his grand finale, the real fan favourite, was using his eye-popping talent to blow up a balloon. To achieve this, he fabricated a small cup that created an airtight seal when placed over his eye. Attached to the cup was a short hollow tube and attached to the tube was a balloon. To the crowd's amazement, he would blow up the balloon before their very eyes. He then tied a knot in it, signed it and handed it out to a lucky member of the audience to take away with them as a sideshow keepsake. Langvin enjoyed a colourful seven-year career with Ripley from 1933 to 1940. During that time, he appeared in several books and printed media and still continues to, to this day. He even served as inspiration for a gag in the animated cartoon Popeye. <laughs> So, how on earth did he do it? Well, the medical reason for his unusual ability is likely the result of a rare tear gland defect that occurred in the womb. In the corner of the eye, there's a canal called the nasolacrimal duct that runs from each eye to the nasal cavity. We commonly call it the tear duct. This defect sometimes allows people to force air and even liquids back up the canal by holding the nostrils shut, keeping the mouth closed and by compressing the chest as if to blow out the air. This ability has formed into somewhat of a sport called eye squirting. There's even a Guinness World Record in this category, which is currently held by Ilker Yamaz, who broke the record for the furthest distance to squirt milk from his eye in 2004. And of course, Sponsors were queuing around the block to back it. For instance, Yilmaz was sponsored by K. Sut, a Turkish milk company, to set his record live on the Guinness World Records TV show. 
I don't know about you, but there's something about seeing milk spray out of some guy's eyeball that really makes me thirsty. Other official Guinness World Records in this category include the fastest time to extinguish five candles by squirting milk from the eye, currently held by Rue Ante. And the fastest time to ignite five targets by squirting milk from the eye, currently held by Brandon Key. Thanks to the internet, this phenomenon seems to have gained traction and videos have popped up on YouTube and other social media sites that show people blowing smoke from their eyes and some creative individuals have even filmed themselves underwater blowing air bubbles from out their eyes. In recent years, one video in particular has gone viral. It emerged on the internet and seems to show a girl who is able to blow smoke not from her eye but from her ear. Although not much is known about the girl and the video has yet to be verified as genuine, it does seem to be plausible. This could be due to a tear in the inner ear and effectively connects the ear canal to the nasal cavity. This defect is most likely connected to a head trauma where an injury occurred. But for Alfred Langvin, he only had a blink of a career. After his time working at Ripley's Auditorium, he seems to have just disappeared into obscurity. Nothing else is heard from him after 1940, and it's very likely he returned back to Canada to live out the remainder of his life away from the spotlight. And there we have it, the eye-watering career of the eye smoker, Alfred Langvin. How about you? Do you think that maybe someday in the future, the sport of eye squirting could become an Olympic event? Who knows, stranger things have happened. Let me know in the comment section below, and of course, don't forget to like and subscribe. That's all we've got time for today, but I'll see you all next week. And remember, stay unusual as usual. If you've enjoyed this video, you might like this one too. Or alternatively, this is the video that YouTube thinks you should be watching next. Don't forget to ring that bell to make sure you don't miss out on next week's video. And if you have any ideas on what the next episode should be about, make sure you add it to the comment section below.